What's up guys, it's Diom and today we are going to cover the game updates for patch 2.2.4, so let's get into it. Alright guys, uh, you probably have seen this on Discord. The, uh, the game updates, the patch updates that uh, CCG posted. Now, I do want to uh, be clear that uh, CCG said, hey, these, this is not the official patch, but they're pretty sure things are not going to change. And so um, I thought we could uh, talk through some of these things. Some of these are honestly super, super exciting. This is in the official Discord um, it's in uh, it's in this channel right here, the Game News channel, and it was posted yesterday about 10:21 p.m. So, um, but because I don't want you guys to have to sit here and look at this uh, uh, ugly white block, uh, I'm going to throw the game up behind me. Uh, some Yuki runs. I've been trying to get uh, a Yuki team faster than 30 seconds, and um, it still needs a little bit of tweaking. But I'll. I'll go ahead and throw that up there just so y'all can have something fun to watch while we walk through this. And then um, briefly at the end of this, I want to give kind of some updates about the future of my channel and, and some things I hope to do and, and, and why things have been the way they have been lately. So um, here we go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, um, let's jump into, into the updates and, uh, and then we can get this, uh, get this going. Okay. So, um, so the first, the first thing they say is a new Guild War system revamped, and I cannot tell you guys how excited I am uh, for this. If they come in with a Guild War system that's not just um, not just better rewards, although better rewards are needed, not just more towers, although more towers are needed, but um, but you know speculation. Maybe they have a way to uh, review some of the battles or see who's gone in against you. Maybe they have some different objectives. Maybe the Guild War changes from week to week. I don't know. Nobody's told me what that will look like. But, you know, in my opinion, Guild Wars can um, make or break an entire game. And so if they come out and this revamp is legit and it's fun, then I think uh, that could that could actually totally make the game. The next thing they, they have that's coming out in this next patch is a Spire level limit increase. I'm stoked about that because I've been stuck at Spire 500 for pretty much since I got this account. It was already beaten when Drax gave me uh, this account and so I'll be able to go from 500 to 600 and uh, make some videos on that for you guys helping you uh, figure out how to beat through those levels so I'm stoked about that. Uh, you can rename your guild. They're going to support simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. So there you go. If that's your thing, um, they'll they'll support that now. Um, storage now appears in Hero Enhancement menu. Um, that's a uh, that's something that actually is is pretty good. Now you can you can go through and um, look at your storage from right from that menu. So that's a that's a needed um, and a helpful thing. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, persistent content creator code. Okay, I'm stoked about this. So they're starting a content creator program now. They still say the threshold for that program is a thousand uh, subs, and so that means me and most of the other content creators that you know and love won't be able to be a part of this program. I'm hoping that they have some leniency here and they say, hey, these guys actually care about our our game. They're putting out consistent content and have been for months without asking for anything. Uh, in, in return, and um, and maybe they let us jump into the program a little early before we hit a thousand. But if not, it's really really important to me, to the uh, livelihood of this channel, and for me to continue to make videos and that kind of thing. That you guys, uh, and this is the only time I'll ask for this, but just if you would subscribe to me, uh, go over to Twitch, follow me on Twitch. I, I stream some there, and I'll mention that. Um, but they are starting this content creator program, and one of the perks to that is they're going to put a persistent content creator code, meaning um, that content creators can put that code up different places, and when people download it, they'll get perks, and the content creator uh, will get recognized as the person who referred those people, that kind of thing. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, there's going to be a Twitch event at the end of July. Nobody really knows what that entails. Um, but they have announced their official Twitch uh, account, and it's the Calibria Crystal Guardians Twitch account there. And so um, 
if you uh, go follow them, that probably would be a good thing to do so you can take advantage of whatever this is at the end of July. Um, a new special events section. Um, they mentioned the Twitch official account, twitch.tv, Calibria Crystal Guardians, so go follow it, chase some rewards. Uh, the new five-star hero light tier. Um, this guy was, uh, it's the dude on the horse that was leaked, and um, his skills and stuff are leaked on the Discord, and so they decided to go ahead and throw him. I, I do know that at some point they will be um, introducing more four-star heroes. I know you guys have been asking for that because most of the new, newer heroes have been five-star LEDs, but um, I know that some of that is coming at some point. can't really know more than that, just that at some point uh, that will happen. And then they're changing the room. <laughs> they're changing the rune limit from 600 to 1,000, and um, that's a that's legit too. Uh, definitely something that's needed, especially as more and more people grow their accounts and need to rune more characters and that kind of thing. And if you're not somebody who likes to switch over your runes all the time, uh, that's something that's really helpful. They have a ton of bug fixes that are coming in this patch. Um, the, the, the genie thorn spirit uh, deal with it, which makes the game crash for other people. Um, they're fixing the rune two pieces set effect that wasn't calculating pop, uh, uh, properly where um, the amount of runes needed to activate the effect. Valkyrie's passive. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a Valkyrie fan myself. I've got two of them. One that I hope to eventually, um, eventually get rid of, but uh, Song of Valhalla loses its effect after Val Valkyrie is being revived. Master Tao's passive, they're going to address Master Tao's passive, and they're going to address, uh, somewhere down further, his tactical advantage um, that triggers. So so they're they're going to um, look at Master Tao a little bit. Succubus passive, her final word isn't triggering after she dies and is revived, and so uh, they're going to address that. Cerberus, uh, uh, after being revived by Cleopatra using Power of Hell, would not follow up on his skill Hell Clause mentioned, so... Uh, if you guys know Cerberus, when he does that skill, um, then it, he's supposed to then go to skill one, and um, he wasn't doing that after being revived by Cleo. Poseidon's pa uh, passive, uh, or yeah, his passive Ocean Gift is losing effect after he's been revived. So it looks like a lot of these tunes, after, there's some kind of a, a deal where after they revive, their passives are, are no longer working, so they fixed that. Um, Dragoon's passive dual effect can be removed by Necromancer. So you're going to affect that. Marquis skill set not working as intended. So Fisherman is going to get um, fixed. So that's good. That'll be helpful for people. Um, looks like they're going to look into Frenzy using a six-piece rune set and um, how that's not been activated as intended. I think if they fix Frenzy, that rune set actually might be worth um, looking into at some point in the future. Um, heroes in Archive are still uh, having a lock status despite being, despite being unlocked. I've not encountered that myself, but apparently that's a thing. Bone King's passive, they're going to fix uh, the fact that it's not affected by Amnesia. Um, I already mentioned Master Tao. Wisp, they're changing um, her degrade. Instead of it being something that reduces um, speed or slows people, it's going to reduce attack now, so that's interesting. Troll Lancer's all-in deals true damage that ignores defense and not fixed damage, and so Troll Lancer, uh, they are going to address, and so um, that's a good thing, I think, at the end of the day. Uh, Loki uh, Shadow Slay attacks two enemies instead of one, so that's a, a Loki nerf. Um, it says skill description and skill change, so so they are going to nerf that. Uh, Champions and Skins Brightness Problems, I don't know if y'all have seen sometimes, um, like uh, with Genie or Master Tao or some of these other uh, tunes, they'll look really, really dark in the game, and so they're fixing that. Uh, Abyss Queen's Supreme Blade does not reflect, reflect the skill description. So we're going to fix that. Masashi's visual effects, I think I've, I've shown that maybe on a Twitch stream or whatever where he wigs out. Um, they're going to fix that. Voodoo Walker's Voodoo, kill, uh, Voodoo Curse skill change from attacker's max HP to own max HP. And the only reason I can think that they, can, that they would have fixed that on Voodoo Walker, who is a completely worthless tune, is that someone found a way to actually exploit that. Um, to where he was able to do crazy, crazy amounts of damage based on the attacker's HP, like in a boss, catacombs, or, or even lair, or something like that. I've not seen any video footage of that. I actually tried um, to, to do some things with the Voodoo Walker, and, and um, his cooldown was so long, it just wasn't worth it. But anyway, um, but they fixed it, so somebody must have figured it out. Uh, Yaksha, they're going to address her Cosmic Spears not um, uh, exploding, not detonating all burn effects. 
So she's going to now detonate one burn stack of each hero um, now. So that's that's good. Some of these are really hard to understand just because of the way they have things worded. Um, but they're going to address Yaksha. They're going to address another Master Tao skill. Um, his hail damage multiplier, the one that's 160 times 5, is now going to properly be 160% uh, to each target. So um, that's going to nerf Master Tao, which... I know if you've got a Master Tau, you're like, dude, why would you go ahead and nerf him? But um, those who don't have a Master Tau are sick of fighting you in Arena. So quit it. All right. So they're going to fix that. Uh, Spider Queen's trapping web CD increase uh, only bypass immunity status on certain champions. So she now is going to bypass it on all champions as long as she's triggering the CD increase with 30%. So they're fixing Spider Queen. Um, skill pop-up display the words in the wrong order. Don't know what that means, but apparently there were some words in the wrong order in skill pop-ups, and so they're going to fix that. Um, Agile rune set, six pieces, save 15% energy at the end of the turn was not being triggered properly. So basically, Agile runes, and then also Desperation runes, when you have the six of the runes in a row, they're going to fix them. Now, this is huge for Desperation runes, because Desperation, when you have all six, it reduces the target's energy by 50%, and that had not been triggered. Now, just imagine uh, some of the tunes that I use, like, for instance, for Vapor, uh, or even in, in Arena, having people on Desperation Runes, so they're stunning already, and then they have a chance to reduce the target's energy by 50%. In other words, basically crippling the team. Imagine if you have some people on some really effective desperation runes. Um, that could be a game changer. So you may start to see people throw desperation runes on more of their tunes. That could be pretty uh, legit. And then they're going to fix uh, Noctura's visual cape bug. And so uh, there's that. Additionally, they're fixing some inaccuracies in French and English in the translations. And Taiwanese players can now enter the regular servers. I don't know where you were banished to, Taiwanese players, but welcome. Glad that you can enter the regular servers with us. So that is the version 2.2.4 update for the game. I'm super stoked for it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially if they get Guild Wars right. Um, that's something that, that can really bring um, some new life into, into that area of the game that's kind of been dead for a while for Guild Wars because even the top guilds are going, yeah, it's just not worth it. So um, so that's a lot of fun. I wanted to um, take a second with you guys and tell you uh, a little bit about kind of where I've been and the channel's been and where we're going. So um, the, the last couple months for me have been really, really crazy. Um, I, uh, I, I effectively quit my job. I resigned, but I will, I'll be here through the end of, um, really on staff through the end of August. Um, I had kidney stones. And then on top of all of that, uh, we, because we, uh, got a new, I got a new job in another state, um, we had to put our house on the market and are trying to sell our house and pack and get ready to move. So because of all of those things, and then I went on vacation for a week, I just have been, it's been harder for me to get, put content out on a regular basis. Um, but I'm back in a place now where I think I can uh, be able to do that. And so I want to be able to do that for you guys. Uh, I really do. And so uh, that's the plan. Um, here in Louisiana, where I've been for all the time that you've known me, I haven't had a good solid internet connection at home. And so that's made it really hard for me to stream. It's honestly made it really hard for me to make content. I've had to do it uh, in between different times or come up to the office on the weekend and upload stuff and that kind of stuff. And it's just been hard. Um, when, I'm, when I move in August, I'll move to a place where, uh, another state, where I'm going to have solid internet. I'm going to have a dedicated area where I have my green screen up and all that stuff. And I'll be able to key it in better. I'm going to get a new mic, some of those things, and upgrade the channel. So uh, I just want to say that to you guys to say, hey, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, Calibria is my game. I uh, was playing Exos a little bit. And uh, I'll always probably play another game on the side a little bit, but I am going to be continuing to make content for Calibria, and I'm stoked about it. Also, I started doing some Twitch streams now. Right now, because of uh, my internet issues, I kind of Twitch stream during the day just kind of randomly. I can't really set hours just yet. Um, so if you catch me on there, you, you should follow me. Uh, it's Dion Gaming over there on Twitch, and um, definitely would love for you to check me out and if you do get over there on Twitch uh, I would love for you to uh, to follow me there 
and um, and uh, that'd be a lot of fun. And I do a lot of stuff uh, there, not just playing the game, but also just asking for your advice. I, I'm not uh, an expert in this game by any means. I'm not. I'm not some of those guys that you know. And so um, a lot of times it's me asking the community, hey, what do you guys think? What should we go for? Um, and there's a lot of fun stuff that comes up uh, when we do that. So make sure you follow me there. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on these videos so I continue to grow the channel and I can continue to make content for you guys that matters and that you want. And then if you have suggestions for things that uh, you would love to see, please, please, please let me know so that I can make that content for you and upload it and um, just want to let you know I'm still am going to be doing some interviews. Uh, I'm going to interview uh, Machiavelli. I'm going to interview uh, Spaceball. Should be interviewing him today, I think. Um, so be looking for those interviews coming in the next couple weeks. All right. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos.